Canadian freestyle skier Dara Howell just coming off her win at the World Cup Big Air Competition in Quebec City. She's going to join us this morning to tell us not just about that win, not just about her career, but her journey back to skiing after a two-year hiatus after her gold medal win in the Sochi Winter Olympics. Good morning, Dara. How are you this morning? Good. How are you? Thank and you for having me. Thanks for coming down from Huntsville. Say good morning to everybody in Huntsville this morning. Hope you're ready for the snow. Um, this is, first of all, congratulations on your win. Thank you. Yeah, it was a great way to end this season. This is not, I mean, you're, you're wearing the Red Bull cap. So, I mean, this is not skiing where you just go down a hill and try and get down there first. This is, this is challenging extreme skiing. Extreme sport. This is extreme <laughs> skiing. Um, so, so now you, you have an incredible career. We go back to winning uh, gold in the slopes down the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi. But then something happened. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you pick up the story. What happened? <laughs> yeah, so after winning in Sochi, I really struggled to find who I was and what I was doing in life and um, really lost my confidence and lost kind of who I was. I, I stepped away from the sport of skiing and that's really where I found my peace. So it was, um, it was sad, you know, but it, it was, it's been part of my journey and something I'm very open about sharing and, um, you know, behind an athlete, there's so many supportive people and, um, it actually took a turn from Red Bull to help get me back on, on track and, and getting in with the right trainers and, um, just finding my way back to a successful season. Okay. I, I want to investigate this. So, so what do you mean you lost your confidence? You're on top of the world. You were the best at what you do. You had been awarded for it. What happened? To be honest, I don't know. Um, like you said, I, I was at the pinnacle of my career. I had just won a gold medal. Um, you know, it's what I was working for, what I was striving for. And really, I, I don't know why I felt um, ashamed in so many ways. Um, ashamed? Yeah, I, I felt so ashamed of my medal for so long. I felt like I didn't deserve it. Um, and now looking back on it, I'm like, wow, I worked really hard for that. I, I did deserve it. Um, I have changed the way I work now and, and moving forward. Um, I will never be ashamed of anything again Good because for you. Um, y when you put the work in, you deserve the success that you get. You were 19 at the time, and I know there's so many, so many, I don't want to call them kids. I mean, so many young adults in, in university and college right now who feel that way. Maybe they're not championship skiers or anything, but, but, but again, successful students, students who are, who are high achievers, who, who lose that confidence. What would be the best piece of advice? Like stepping back, I think is absolutely would be number one. Yeah. I think, but what would be the next best piece of advice you could give them? I think looking inside and looking into um, who you are as a person and the qualities you have as a person and uh, being proud of of what you're accomplishing. And um, for anyone out there, just never give up. You know, I think when you really do truly put the work in, anything is possible. At that time, did you feel really alone? Yes, I did. That you were the um, only one in the world who would, who would feel this way? I felt, yeah, like I said, I felt very ashamed of, of my medal and I felt very, um, very alone. And it really did take going back and um, finding who Dara was and how I was going to move forward. And um, now I ski, I feel like I'm skiing better than I've ever skied. Um, I work harder than I've ever worked. and. Um, I mean, ending the season on a win is really big for me. And do you like yourself now after this win? You deserve this this title. You're, <laughs> you're like I said, a damn good skier. <laughs> what, how do you feel now compared to Sochi? How do you feel now after winning in Quebec City? I feel really good now. Um, obviously, I struggled at the Olympics this year, but it's all been part of my journey, and I have so many supportive people around me that just want to see me succeed. And honestly, I think that's the best thing you can have is just a really good support system. And um, my confidence is very high. I'm excited about the future, and I'm excited to keep skiing. Who's around you now that you depend on, that you lean on? My parents, obviously, of course. They have always been very supportive and very encouraging to whatever I want to do in life. 
Um, I just have really good, the, the girl I work with at treatment, um, people in the gym, just good sports psych, all my sponsors, Red Bull's been really key, and just people that want to see me succeed and um, want to see me take opportunities. And you have to want to see you succeed as well. Yes, correct. And I think I, I mean, I drive the boat. <laughs> exactly. That, that's right. I drive the boat. She's from Huntsville. She drives the boat. Uh, Literally. That, that's true. And, and you took charge of your life. And I think that that, you can enjoy that now. You're, you're, you're 23 and you still have your whole life ahead of you now. This could have gone a whole different way, couldn't it? It could have gone very south. Yeah. And, and, and you had a chance, you know, you could have quit skiing. You could have given up on yeah. yourself. But you didn't. And you know what? I'm proud of you. I, th I think that's you. absolutely wonderful. And you are such a shining example. You know, we look at, we look at our athletes, at our, our sports heroes, as role models. And, you know, but most of the time it's just because they're so good at what they do. But I think you bring to the table a lot more than just that. You, you, you go in, in, beyond, in behind as well and, and show people that there's more to you than, than just your athleticism so congratulations thank you very much in more ways than one all thank right uh, how can people follow you how can uh, how can people uh... um at Dara Howell on mm -hmm. Twitter and Instagram yeah okay and you know what you're not alone follow you me you are not alone yeah all right Dara <laughs> thank you very much and once again congratulations for Quebec thank City thank you so much all right uh it is uh, six almost 627 right now on breakfast television lots more to come we have traffic and weather and news coming up as well it's Canada's largest eco healthy living show takes place right here in Toronto. We bring you the latest products, tech, and more from the Green Living Show.